Dude, this thing just absolutely glistens, dude. Dude, it looks like a brand new truck. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the Dodge Ram 3500 that we're building for our pops. And as you've seen in the previous video, we finally got this whole entire truck painted in an inflatable paint booth here at the house. And I gotta say, it turned out absolutely amazing. But now it is finally time to start piecing this front end together. As you know, we had a little problem with our trim pieces here where we had to paint them the next day. So they're not fully cured, but they are dry to the touch. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw them on. And we are missing a few front end pieces as well, like this headlight harness and some cooler lines right there. But you know what? This front end is super easy to pop off when it comes time. We just wanna see what it looks like all one color, man. I think it's gonna look super sick. So let's just go ahead, grab some tools and start piecing this front end completely together. So all those trim pieces are finally in, dude. And I gotta say, that looks absolutely sick. Dude, it definitely does look sick, dude. You wanna shut that Let's hood? Let's shut that hood, man. This is gonna look awesome. Finally one color. Looks like one of them. Dang. Dude, that looks good. Looks like one of them dealership trucks that we seen at the dealer the other day. Looks a lot better than those dealership trucks. What? Hey, this is a unique color to this front end. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, there's no color like it, man. Dude, that looks so good. All we got to do is just pop in this Ram emblem, which we were debating on painting it or not. And we actually just went ahead and just did it. Just left them matte black because they were already matte black. And I think it's just going to look really yeah, good. Yeah, I think there's plenty of uh, blue right there. You got them little inserts around the edge right there. So I guess let's, let's throw on them little emblems and not the bumper right are we gonna throw the bumper on uh, i don't know whatever you want man. we might we might let's just go ahead and throw these letterings let's on let's do it all right so we finally got that ram emblem on and i gotta say this front end is looking better and better with every little piece that we throw at it and i can't wait to get that other headlight working man this front end is gonna look super sick but as of right now, it is kind of late in the day and we did get an early start on this video. So we're gonna continue tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. And before we continue piecing the rest of this truck together, what we started doing is actually preparing this whole entire front end for a buff. And we actually started sanding with the 2500 because the paint is almost perfect. There is just a little bit of trash, so we just wanna make it flawless. And once we're done buffing the hood, the fenders, and the doors, we're then gonna move on to the original paint, right? Yeah, we're gonna actually swirl mark remove the rest of the truck because dude, this thing is a 2012 after all, which probably seen like a million washes and who knows what they used to wash that, this, this thing. This thing definitely got some wear and tear on it. So we want it to match the original or the fresh paint that we got here. So we do got a lot of work on our hands. So let's just keep on moving and try to get this whole entire thing buffed out. All right, so we went ahead and pulled the truck inside the garage. That way we get some shade on the hood because it is really hot and we don't want direct sunlight on the hood because it'll just dry up the rubbing compound way too quick. 
And what you've seen us do is actually hit the hood with the 3000 after that 2500 because it just gave it that perfect sheen. And it's also going to speed the buffing process up as well as give it a perfect finish when we're done with it. And what we just picked up is actually some rubbing compound. This is the extreme version. Hopefully this works because it was pretty dang expensive and hopefully it speeds the whole entire process up as well. So let's just go ahead, clean up our wool pad and grab our buffer and hopefully get this thing looking like some glass. Dang, son, that joint turned out like a piece of glass, dude. dude. It actually turned out perfect. It's not too smooth, but it got all the trash out. And the reason why we didn't want to get it too smooth is because we actually wanted it to match the rest of the paint job. And dude, as long as we got the trash out, and I think the hood got the most of it because everything was just settling on top of it, like just falling down. As for the fenders and doors, they barely got any trash and they actually turned out way better than we expected but that booth actually did a good job with that. And uh, as for buffing them, we probably won't because just come over here. Let's go take a look at them, man. They're pretty dang smooth. I didn't notice any trash in them whatsoever. Maybe like one or two or yeah, three. Very little, very minimum. But as for the finish, as you can tell, this is an OEM finish, never been repainted. And as you can tell that OEM uh, orange pill, basically what you would call it, just matches perfectly with our new orange pill or our new clear coat which is actually perfect. And if we do actually send this down and buff it'll it- It'll be too smooth. Yeah, it'll be way too smooth. And that means we're probably gonna have to send this door, the bed, basically the entire truck, which is a lot of work. Yeah. We probably won't end up doing that. But anyways, what we're gonna do is actually grab our finishing pad, our ultra fine finishing pad, grab some of this polish right here, slash soil mark remover, whatever you wanna call it, and just get this dinginess out of here. It's kind of faded a little bit, you know, like we said, it just got washed way too many times. So there's like microscopic scratches everywhere. And I'm sure this stuff is just gonna clean it all up, make it match perfectly. So let's just go ahead and probably start with the hood first. Yeah, yeah let's start with the hood. And then I guess we're gonna hit this door and just see how well it matches our paint job, really. Let's do it. Man, we just had to pause for a second. I thought right after we buffed it, it was shiny. But after that polish, dude, my camera is playing tricks on itself. It's my, going like from my dang eyeballs are playing tricks right now, dude. My, it's like going from bright to dim at certain angles, which is crazy. But I'm guessing it's the new polish that we're using, right? I don't know if you're recording the sky or the sky, the sky dude. Which, which, which is the sky? Uh, Down here or up there? Whatever one you want, dude. But dude, this crazy. is crazy. This is, this is actually new stuff that we're using. We're used to using actual 3M soil mark remover, but this is actually 3M polish with soil mark remover kind of in built it. into it. Yeah, so it's kind of a, it leaves it a more shinier finish, which is awesome because, dude, look how nice that looks right there. Dude, that looks Crazy sick. finish, man. But anyways, what do you want to move on to next? Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is basically just jump on that side since uh, we're just go we're just going to go ahead and do one side at a time and just completely hit that whole entire side and just see how it all turns out.
All right, so we finally got this whole entire side polished out, and I gotta say, it turned out perfect, just like we wanted it to. The old clear coat matches the new stuff. We got a uniform clear coat all throughout this side, and there was a little bit of overspray actually on our bedside. So instead of using a normal clay bar like this one right here, we decided to use some new technology which somebody sent us. It's been a while, but this is an overspray removal rag, which is pretty dang crazy. It's like a rubberized rag. It's super rubbery. All you gotta use is some soap and some water, and you just rub it in and just remove all that clear coat. And now that the polishing is done, we could actually jump onto the other side, completely polish that, because once we do all of our polishing, then we're gonna piece this sucker all the way back together. This thing just absolutely glistens, dude. Dude, it looks like a brand new truck now with the whole entire truck finally polished out. Dude, it looks super slick. good. This thing is slick. Paint job turned out amazing, but more importantly, the buff and the polish turned out and even the better. In the blend and the all blend. that good stuff. But dude, we need to go ahead and start putting this thing back together, right? It's time, man. What are we gonna start with them doors? Yeah, might as well go ahead and start with the doors because right whenever we put them suckers together, we need to go ahead and give this thing a quick wash because in between all these cracks and stuff everywhere, a bunch of rubbing compound went in there and once that sucker dries out for like a day or something it ain't coming off dude, dude. absolute nightmare to get that stuff removed after it dries oh yeah so let's just go ahead start on the doors put them back completely together and then give this thing a quick wash All right, so both doors are fully back together and functioning properly. And we pulled the truck back over here and rinsed it off really nicely, made sure all the residue is off. Hopefully we got everything. But another thing, dude, check out how crazy the color looks. Does it look dude, black right it, now? It literally look, does look black on camera, which is insane. It looks so weird on camera. It almost looks like I got a black and white filter on or dude, something. Dude, I can't, dude, I just can't get over this color, dude. It looks so good at night. At night, you'll probably see a black truck rolling by, you know? Yeah, you'll what? think it's a black truck, but in the daytime, it looks really blue. And in, in, when it's shady or when it's like dude, getting dark or something. It's like a, such a unique color, man. I wouldn't mind painting something else with that. You know what I mean? Not a bad idea. We might have a few things that need to get painted this color or yeah, might definitely. get painted this color. I can't wait to throw like the fender flare on it. That way that silver can like just throw it off a little bit. You know what yeah, I mean? It just I, flows properly. I think we could actually throw that on tomorrow, but we do got to get our inner fenders first. So hopefully we get a lot of parts in yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we should have a lot more parts in tomorrow, but we did get a lot of work done today. So we're probably going to have to catch you guys in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here and we already went to the dealership because all of our parts are finally in. We got everything that we need and I'm probably most excited about this 3500 badge. Look at that, man. That's gonna look so good popped into that hood. We got a bunch of these new trucks around here. We got a 35 Dually right here, but I gotta say none of these trucks actually like stand out like the color tone that we got. Wouldn't you say? Cause like, man, these are all like bland colors, dude. There's either gray, black, silver, and there's one green one over there and white, dude. That blacked out one is probably my favorite right there. And that green color is pretty nice as well. But anyways, I think Pop's truck is probably going to be the best. We need to bring it out here just to do a little compare and contrast. And, and I noticed that we actually, uh, I know how the, all the black trucks, the whole entire front end is black, but ours is actually going to be blue, you know, blue, little dude. trim pieces up front, which looks really good. There's one right there. There's a gray truck right there that has 
has all the trim pieces painted. And the other one right there, the dark headlight. I know, but the grill is still not black. Oh, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, dude. So we got something unique on our hands. And also look at all these parts that we got here. We got the power steering cooler lines right here. We got both battery trays. We got inner fenders. That's going to allow us to throw on the fender flares and all that good stuff. We got this uh, windshield washer tank and all the nozzles, all the lines. We got everything here and we can't forget we got our headlight harness dude we could finally turn on both headlights dude that truck is gonna look so sick but anyways let's just go ahead head back home and get straight to work all right so back at the house here and what we're gonna get started with is actually our battery trays if you look closely here our original battery tray is actually cracked from the accident and it's barely holding up this battery we got a bungee cord on there and this uh, newer model battery tray should actually be a direct replacement it should bolt right up to this apron and we should be good here but as for the other side it is a little bit different and we're not 100 percent sure if the newer model tray will actually work and actually the older model tray works pretty dang good it's nice and stout it's got a place for the abs system and the fuse box but as for this one there's really no place for an abs system here and the fuse box is a lot different i think the newer truck has a bigger fuse box so we're going to do actually a little bit more research on this but as of right now let's just go ahead and replace that one So we finally got the new battery tray installed and I gotta say it was a perfect fit It's gonna hold this battery just like it should but as for the driver's side battery tray We ended up test fitting the newer model. We thought it wouldn't work But we ended up just having to modify a little bit and I gotta say it's a pretty perfect fit as well We had to trim up a few things for the ABS module there and we bolted it onto the side of the battery tray The only thing is this fuse box is a little bit loose because we mentioned before it is smaller But I think it'll be all right. We'll definitely figure something out later Our main concern is just water getting to it But I think once we throw in those inner fenders we'll be fine and we are good in this engine bay for now The next thing that we're gonna move on to is actually our power steering cooler cooler lines and also we're going to wire up this headlight. finally fully plumbed up our new power steering cooler and everything is functioning properly we got rid of the old one obviously and it definitely cleaned up that front end inner cooler right there looks really good and also you might have noticed we wired up our driver headlight and it looks absolutely Dang, amazing with both of them dude. finally working and we actually made them both a lot brighter because whenever we wired this one up the drl was just way brighter than that side so i went over there and actually swapped two wires and it just brightened them up just the same so now they look they look way better dude, brighter, way dude. better you see in the daytime you wouldn't be able to hardly see them but now they just pop right out at you it looks really good. and everything dude. else works right yeah turn signals uh high beam low beam all that good stuff right now dude what do you want to do right you want to jump on the fender flares no let's do the inner fenders oh, first yeah, inner fenders and then the fender flares and then probably even these badges Ooh. and in the front bumper i don't know dude Whatever. pretty much man we're, we're getting really close to closing in on this build oh yeah let's just keep moving let's do it
Alrighty guys, so we finally got the inner fenders on, the fender flares, the hood badges, and the front bumper. And I gotta say, this thing is looking absolutely sick. We've only got a few more little things left before this thing is 100% complete and we hand over the keys to Pops. But anyways, that is gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video. The next thing that we got planned for this thing are gonna be absolutely epic, so you're not gonna wanna miss out on anything. So make sure your post notifications are on and also be sure to give us a follow on Instagram if you wanna inside scoop before YouTube. And also I do wanna mention that we just restocked on these t-shirts right here. They sold out super quick last time and we only got a very little amount of them. So if you wanna help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy one but with all that being said thank you guys for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace